Thì cảm ơn grab me hình lệch Very spreading low I have to get my body low Like this, wide, lower So now it's harder for him to pick me up from there Do you understand me? Instead of here, it's a bit more easier Get to single leg And I'll be down, okay? So it's not like down I got a neck like this for instance I uh, neck like this for instance and uh, when he grabs before in town, I will go with him, okay? I will go with him, then become a little bit harder. Coming down like this, I got to keep my hair, hand in the right places. Because if you grab my leg poor, I got a problem straight away, okay? So I need a graphic cut them eye. Now you bring it back, now you'll be in good position a little bit to control them. Elbow, elbow, graphic cut them eye, rip it off. Hi there, it's Master Wong. It's another day training again. On this training here, it's about some grappling movement. Now, it's not about like professional grappling. So you need to get that into your mind first, okay? So on this training here, I'm uh, emphasize a lot into your mind about decision making. Discipline, determination, and decision making. In this situation, you get yourself into, you need to make the decision quickly. What is it you try to do? Hand down there, press, control, and attacking vulnerable spot like the eye, like certain part of the body. This is very, very important because we are not grappler. We are training into the Wing Chun side to learn to defend ourselves when certain things that happen. So you need to respond fast. That's why decision making is very, very important. Another thing to learn to understand as well when you go through this is training by continue practice training all the time, consistent on your daily to day training to possess the skill and put in the wuti, the mindset, that 12 virtues that I ingrain into you to make sure you learn this and understand this to bring into day to day life. Situation awareness is you need to know what's going on quickly and underneath the situation before something happened because it's when it happened, it's too late. So this is very important when you're watching full and start to learning full this training here. Anything else? Comment below here and I will be here to answer all the questions for you. Mas Wong here, keep watching. Uh, I'll be here, then he punch, then uh, uh, it'll be fine, okay? It's, it's a stand-up fight, that's fine, okay? Now, because I'm here and here, of course, I can get used to the line and you're making a contact, foot coming in, body coming in, all this basic movement, I cover. My chin is in, so if I'm here, if I hook, if, I, if I'm a hand like this, see? I cover, so I'll be okay. So the idea is I want to my hand to be covered like this, okay? Basic movement like this to get you to straight hook in line like this. Now certainly he start to go high and then he start to low, for instance. If he come in like this now, he shuff. Now because my leg like this, my body like this, I got straight away pick up and I got to fall down the ground. So the position of standing, it all depends on your opponent come to you, okay? So, if I'm first, I'm stand up. Like, if I go like this again, it's no good, okay? It's no good for me, okay? Because I cannot use any of my tool, my arm is in wrong places, I can't use any movement. So I have to be marching uh, where he stand, roughly like this, and I have to be like this, because I'm able to receiving all this attack coming in, okay? So my leg like this. Now, certainly he change, I have to change, okay? Now, if he's trying to come and grab me, you see, come and grab me, he legs very spreading low. I have to get my body low, like this, wide, lower. So now he came, it's a little bit harder for him to try to pick me up now, okay? And because it's harder, when he came in inside, okay, inside harder, my hand is here, so he picked me up, and it's easier for me to control him by my hands raising like this, okay? So my leg is wider. So when you're in this kind of movement to attack, if I'm staying there all the time, it's the big problem, okay? So you have to be adaptable. Now, if he coming in and he quickly shoot right down and uh, like uh, this kind, of, yeah. Now become a big problem, okay? Now he move very quick. So he making contact here and this comes right in now. Now the big problem. So he certainly moves so rapidly into you. Because your body very high, it's easy for him to drive you up, okay? It's easy for him to drive you up like this, drive you up. If certainly, when he came in that, if you see the distance he came in, and you are aware, this is all to do with dynamic movement. You're trying to understand uh, the movement, aware of what's going on. You lower your body right down. When you come in, lower your body right down, it's a little bit harder for him to come in, okay? So when he comes here, lower your body right down. So difficult for him. Even I'm here, pick me up, it's a little bit harder 
You see, it's a little bit harder for him to try to pick me up from there. Do you understand me? Being set up here, it's a little bit more easier for him. Okay? So you need to get used your leg to lower them down. Now, to lower your leg down, you have to train. You have to train in this kind of environment all the time. Because if you don't, then when certainly when he attacks, him, can't just lower like this. Because he's too quick for you. And your hand have to be aware of where they are. Now, another thing as well you need to understand. All this positioning you get into, high and low, low center of gravity, you're going down. So when you get your stand in position, it's a stand up. So you stand up, you're in line like this, you, you do all the stand up. Then you get used to, see? So when you came in, go one, see? So you get used to leg wider. Now if you do single leg, he can do single leg, and I'll be down, okay? So it's not that straightforward, it's perfect. The idea is, if I'm here, and I do single leg down, I've got problem, okay? And then I can able to smack on boom to the face, okay? I can able to survive some of the, 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 the basic stuff. But if I come in here, if you do a single leg down, I got a neck like this, for instance. I, the neck like this, for instance, and I, when he grabbed before and down, I will go with him, okay? I will go with him, then become a little bit harder for him now because I'm going to grab hold of his neck. So the basic of this, when you practice on every kind of thing, now Ju Jesu and, and, and uh, JJB, all of this ground stuff, they have their own way of uh, preparing the fight, of uh, preparation the fight, of all sorts different thing. So the most important, the important thing you have to understand is if you are doing street stuff, you have to be prepared. You have to prepare and understand how your body in line and what good position you're in. Now, good position you're in, I mentioned before. Stand up like this to marching him, okay? To marching him. And if you go down, you need to go down. If you grab leg, you need to move with him to make sure that he not gonna able to break and get your leg and then try to deal with them. Okay, so your body have to flow with it. And secondly, you got to use in your body to work properly, meaning try to get in the right places. So if he came in and he coming down like this, I got to get my head hand in the right places. Because if you grab my leg poor, I got a problem straight away. Okay, so I need to grab his goddamn eye. The, 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 the fish hook, shove in his eyeball and just pull them out. Because I got no choice. Or if you are compromised, and you're coming down here, you're coming down, you pull, straight away you're down already. It's another compromise. So your knee, make sure they're up first, okay? Hand to the nut here, and then you're gonna play dirty with him, okay? Because you can't not try to do in the movement and try to, uh, try to wrestling and try to do the movement. Because you try it on the floor, your bum, your bum cheekbone is gonna be broken because you try. Another thing is that when he coming in, he tries so hard, yeah? Boom, the whole body, the whole body uh, drive into my body in here. Boom, like this. Okay, it's a shock. It's a certain shock into my uh, my, my rib case here. It's already broken before he put me down the ground. Okay, so this is so dangerous when you're not in a preparation uh, line and understand. So to avoid all this, when he came in, it need to drop. Need to use it. This your hand as you're doing upstairs. If you're doing here, when he came in, keep it low like this here. So that way, he's drive the elbow into him, yeah, like this, okay, to control him more. Because if you try to keep your hand, and then he, now he drop it in, the it's literally, the shoulder will go in, your ribcage broken. Before you go down the floor, you're literally out, okay. So the standing, the positioning of your standing for each of the movement, you have to prepare and understand each thing. If you don't understand the hand, if it made a mistake here, boom, your broken chest. That shocked you already. And then what happened, he grabbed your leg and he just ripped hard, fast, bam, and your head fly down the ground straight away. So then your neck is broken, okay? This is important. So when you're doing this high thing here, need to be safety. Hand position first, keep in line. When he came, drop your body right down. Drop your body right down like that. If you change the single leg, it's both grab with this, make sure you bring it back, you see? So we grab from here, if he, from, here, go up and play. Now you bring it back. Now you'll be in good position a little bit to control them. Elbow, elbow, grab it, cut them eye, rip it off. Do you like the movement, the technique? This is why one of the two virtues of the 12 is perseverance and courage for you to learn to understand this. Without this two 
basic virtue here you use in the courage and persevering is going to become a lot more difficult when you start to go through the training because that not ingrained into your mind. So when you training, need to understanding all this virtue because the virtue is helping you to ground it in our system. It help our student to more ground it to understanding about what is it going on in the mat that in the training side. Okay, because a lot of time we face it out in the street, not in the mat. And also in the real life, how you can apply all this virtue in your day to day life to helping you to become a lot more better version of yourself. Because that's what we want. We want you to become the better version of yourself. We want you to learn all this to make sure you can live a beautiful life. That's what martial art is. Learning to become humble. Learning to understand about discipline, determination, about decision making. All this thing here, it brings it into the training, into the martial art side. So, anything you want to ask me, anything like that, comment below here. And if you want to learn more and understand about more of what we're teaching, go to our website, masterwong.tv, and you can learn a lot about that. And some of you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you're watching this subscribe button, so that way when I upload a new video, you will get a notification right away. Keep practice, keep training, and make sure the basic rule that I tell you all, say all the time, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And make sure train hard, live clean, and don't let anyone bully you. Must Wong here, and out.